Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a sci-fi and family movie from 1985 called Daryl. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie is about an AI robot named Daryl, short for Data Analyzing Robot Youth Lifeform. Daryl is an advanced AI experiment by a government organization called TASCOM. Even though he looks like a normal 10-year-old boy, his brain works like a supercomputer with amazing abilities such as fast reflexes, excellent multitasking, and the power to hack into other computer systems. The military funded the Daryl Project to create a superior soldier. Dr. Mulligan, one of the scientists working on the project, starts to worry about Daryl being used for bad purposes. To save Daryl, he decides to help him escape. While they are fleeing, Tascom chases them with a helicopter. Dr. Mulligan tries to lose the helicopter but fails. He eventually stops the car and releases Daryl into a forest in South Carolina. Dr. Mulligan then tries to escape but ends up driving off a cliff, leading to his death. Daryl is found by an elderly couple who takes him to an orphanage in the fictional town of Barkington, South Carolina. He undergoes medical tests and is found to have amnesia with no memory of who he is. Eventually, he is placed with foster parents Joyce and Andy Richardson, who can't have children and want to adopt. To get adoption approval, they need to foster a child first. They are happy to have Daryl, but they notice he has limited social skills. Joyce and Andy introduce Daryl to their neighbors, the Fox family, which includes Howie, Elaine, their daughter Sherry, and their mischievous son Turtle. In the next scene, Turtle befriends Daryl and they hang out by the lake. Turtle is amused that Daryl can remember some things, like his name and how to read, but can't remember anything else about himself. Daryl explains that he has amnesia and hopes his real parents will come for him someday. Turtle then takes Daryl home and they play a game called Pole Position on Sherry's computer. Daryl is fascinated by the game and plays at a speed and skill level beyond human capability, surprising everyone. He also starts observing human behaviors and can't understand why Turtle teases his sister so much. The next day, Daryl goes to school for the first time and impresses the teacher with his exceptional academic abilities. Later, Andy teaches him baseball and Daryl stuns him with his natural talent for the game. This makes Andy happy because he can finally see his baseball team beating his rival, Bull McKenzie's team, the Warriors. Andy makes Daryl promise not to tell anyone about his baseball skills, worried that Bull McKenzie will try to stop him from playing. However, Daryl doesn't understand the concept of keeping secrets and quickly tells his foster mother about his game. Daryl also begins to learn about male attraction to females, although he doesn't understand it. He believes that all knowledge is good and worth learning. One day, Andy takes Daryl to the ATM to withdraw money, but the machine shows insufficient funds due to a bank computer error. Daryl steps in and fixes the error, even manipulating the computer to show $1.4 million in Andy's account without him knowing. Later, Daryl and Andy go to school to practice for the baseball game. At home, Joyce talks with her friends and admits feeling unneeded as a mother because Daryl is such a perfect kid. He does all his chores, irons his clothes, makes his bed, and polishes his shoes, making her feel like he's a better mom than she is. Turtle overhears this and later, on the way to school, Joyce drives him and his mother. The baseball game begins between Andy's team and their rivals, the Warriors, led by Bull McKenzie. Andy's team, the Mohawks, falls behind at first, but Daryl quickly turns the game around. While everyone is happy with his performance, Joyce feels even more unwanted. During the break, Daryl notices this and talks to Turtle, who explains that adults are complicated. Turtle advises Daryl to make mistakes sometimes so adults feel like they're helping and making progress. He suggests Daryl leave his room messy so Joyce can clean it up. After the break, Daryl purposely strikes out to make Joyce feel needed. Turtle is shocked and tells Daryl he doesn't need to ruin the whole game. Daryl responds that Joyce is more important than the game and speaks rudely to Andy, saying he doesn't care about the game anymore. Joyce is stunned by his behavior but calmly explains that it's okay to mess up, but he shouldn't talk to his loved ones like that. Realizing his mistake, Daryl hugs Joyce. Meanwhile, Turtle steps up as the cleanup hitter in Daryl's place. To everyone's surprise, he successfully hits a home run, winning the game and bringing joy to everyone. However, the Richardson's happiness is short-lived. One day, a social worker arrives and says the government has found Daryl's biological parents. Though disheartened, the Richardsons agree to let Daryl reunite with his parents. 
Daryl, now attached to Joyce and Andy, insists on staying with them, but Andy explains he must go with his real parents who have been searching for him for months. The next morning, Daryl's parents, Ellen and Jeffrey, arrive to take him home. Turtle is so upset he can't say goodbye. The parents drive Daryl to an airport and board a private jet. It is soon revealed that Ellen and Jeffrey are TASCOM scientists pretending to be Daryl's parents to bring him back to the research facility in Washington. On the plane, Daryl talks to the pilot while Jeffrey discusses his escape. Jeffrey says Dr. Mulligan's decision to take Daryl was the best thing he could have done because it allowed TASCOM to test Daryl in the real world. At the facility, Daryl's memory is restored and he is debriefed about his time with the Richardsons. During the debriefing, significant moments are highlighted such as Daryl's choice to strike out during the baseball game, showing his understanding that sometimes sacrificing one thing can lead to gaining something else. Also, Daryl's preference for chocolate ice cream over vanilla is noted, surprising Jeffrey, as it suggests Daryl has human-like emotions. Ellen remains unconvinced, so Jeffrey decides to run biochemical tests. In a room full of doctors, Daryl undergoes tests and expresses fear, an emotion that robots shouldn't feel. Dr. Jeffrey reports these findings to the military generals at the Pentagon. The revelation of Daryl's ability to feel human emotions, including fear, leads the military to deem the Daryl experiment a failure. This surprises Dr. Jeffrey, who believes they have learned much more about Daryl thanks to Dr. Mulligan's actions. However, the generals decide that a robot like Daryl is useless to the army and choose to terminate the project. They also order Dr. Jeffrey to create an adult version of Daryl, programmed to be a fearless, technically skilled soldier. Dr. Jeffrey, having grown attached to Daryl, can't bring himself to tell him about the termination. Daryl takes the chance to ask Dr. Jeffrey if the Richardsons and Turtle can visit him one last time. Surprisingly, Dr. Jeffrey agrees, feeling they deserve a final visit. Soon, Joyce, Andy, Turtle, and his father arrive at TASCOM. Dr. Jeffrey welcomes them and reveals the truth about Daryl, astonishing them. When Dr. Jeffrey demonstrates some of Daryl's superhuman abilities, they are stunned. He explains that the doctors at the orphanage couldn't tell Daryl was a robot because his robotic parts were only in his skull. Daryl reunites with his family, embracing them warmly. Dr. Jeffrey is so moved that he decides to free Daryl forever. After sending the family home, Dr. Jeffrey plans to smuggle Daryl out of the facility. However, Dr. Allen finds out and informs the military chief. The chief quickly arrives and orders Dr. Jeffrey to destroy Daryl. With no choice, Dr. Jeffrey reluctantly complies. The military chief ensures Daryl is terminated and Dr. Jeffrey angrily leaves the facility. In a surprising twist, Daryl is still alive. Dr. Jeffrey convinced Dr. Allen to spare Daryl and they successfully smuggled him out of the facility. However, their plan is soon discovered, leading to an intense car chase. They manage to evade the police, but Dr. Jeffrey is fatally shot. Daryl, acting more human, breaks into tears as Dr. Jeffrey dies in his arms. Daryl then heads to a military airport and steals a fighter jet. As he flies toward his home near the U.S. border, the military threatens to shoot him down if he doesn't land within five minutes. Despite the warning, Daryl refuses to land and ejects from the plane with a parachute just before the countdown ends. He lands near the lake from earlier in the movie. Unfortunately, Daryl falls into the lake and begins to drown because he can't swim. It seems all hope is lost, but Turtle arrives just in time and rescues Daryl from the water. Daryl is rushed to the hospital, but the doctors declare him dead. Turtle refuses to believe Daryl can die, arguing that since Daryl's brain is a microcomputer, it can't die like a human brain. Turtle is correct, and the Richardsons secretly seek Dr. Allen's help to bring Daryl back to life. In the end, Daryl is revived and happily reunites with his family, embracing them warmly. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.